And that is your complete student bulking meal plan. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. Let's get ready to rumble with breakfast, okay? And the goal with every single meal is to make it tasty, budget-friendly, transportable, because you want to take it like on the bus, on the train, to lectures, and also convenient, so you can prep it. So the first ingredient for breakfast is gonna be some plain white bread, some sort of sweetener of choice, a nice big box of eggs, some sort of berry, so raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, but these are good, some baking powder, and finally, a Harry Potter Hogwarts crest cake. No, I am not being serious, although I am a wizard with these high volume recipes, as you will know if you have bought the recipe book, but, okay, we might not be getting the Hogwarts crest cake, but there are a few more ingredienti that you're gonna need for this recipe, which of course, you can't get in Tesco's, and you probably know what they are. Yes, people, did you guess correctly? So we have a whey protein powder, we have a bread or eggs, then we have some of these raspberry burst flavor drops from the Skinny Food Company, link will be down below, and then the other final ingredient you can't get in Tesco's is some PB2 powder. So this recipe is super, super easy, so this is what you're gonna do. That's right, okay, you're gonna put everything into the ninja except the raspberries. Then you're gonna pour the mixture, it has come out beautifully into like an oven cake dish. You get your raspberries, then you pop them in there, it's like 125 grams. Boop, 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 boop. Get a knife and you are just gonna mix them in so they sort of go into the bake. Beautiful, then we have preheated the oven there, all you're gonna do, oh my god, I hope it doesn't fall, please don't fall, <laughs> is put it in the middle of the oven, like so, close it up, and you know the deal. Oh my god, guys, I think I've outdone myself. If you had smell of vision <laughs> it smells so good. I think we're gonna label this the anabolic French toast breakfast raspberry chocolate cake of peace, okay, super high in volume, and it's transportable. You can just make this the night before, pop it in the oven, let it cool down, and bring it to work, school, college, or whatever. And look at the volume, okay? Super, super handy. And in terms of macros, you're talking 64 carb, five fat, and 51 grams of protein. So 505 calories. So that is gonna be your breakfast as a student, bulking up. Everyone in college will be like, oh my God, Scott, what is the recipe? You'll be like, go follow Scott Murray, download his recipe book, and you'll make all kinds of gains. So yes, that's your breakfast. Now let's move on with the video and get to your lunch. Boom! I guess you were not expecting that, but I thought I would add a bit of personality to the video. And yes, I'm keeping on the hood because this is entertaining, I guess, okay? But yes, a common question I do get asked is, as a student, what did I study? In college, I actually did two degrees. I have a BSc and a master's. Woo, master's! So here on the wall beside my study is my BSc for health and performance science. And regretfully, this is the only picture we have on a potato phone. And this sort of gown was on the wrong way apparently but yes that is the bsc and then over here is my one for my masters i need to put this on the wall actually and we have the two pictures we went for the professional ones so we have the ones with the family oh look at that very nice and then i, <laughs> I hounded the guy to let me do a silly one so yeah that is the other one we have for my masters that pretty much sums up myself in one snap and you know what for the crack let's try to replicate it so on the count of three one two three it was at this moment that he knew. But yes, anyway, okay, those are my two degrees for those who actually care. Apparently there is some sort of knowledge in this little brain of mine. So yeah, that is that. Now let's move on to the next meal of the day for this meal plan. Okay, here we go. And I don't know about you, but when I think of students, I think of people living on things like Coke and noodles, but Oh my God, guys, we cannot be having that. So we're gonna make up our own healthy version of these. So to start off, you're gonna need some soy sauce. Of course, some noodles, and these are actually like straight to wok ones, so super convenient and only 70 cent. A tin of chopped tomatoes, again, super cheap. 
some chickpeas, some turmeric or turmeric, and of course some salt and pepper. Some sort of lean meat, so we're going for chicken breast because after all we need some protein. Some aubergines or an eggplant, wherever you call it, super high volume, low calorie, game changer. And finally some scallions. And that is everything. And once again, this recipe is super, super easy that even a monkey could make it. So you know what that means? That's right, it literally is a matter of just shoving everything into a pan and if you add smell of it, oh my god, look at the colour as well, super vibrant, but that is going to simmer up and then you know the deal! Bish, bash, bosh, the coca noodles or curry, whatever you want to call it, a piece, finito, and like I said, woo, woo, god that's spicy! <laughs> no, calm down, okay, it smells hella good if you add smell of it, yeah. <laughs> What the hell was that? I don't know, but we're gonna keep that in. If you had smell vision, you would be having a nose orgasm. So yes, that is gonna be your lunch in terms of macros. You're talking 86 grams of carbs, 12 fat, and 61 protein. So 696 calories. Again, eating out of big bowls the size of your head. If you want to eat out of bowls the size of your head, go click the link down below. Download the recipe book so I can move out the house. But yes, yeah, super convenient. Literally took probably about 10 minutes to make, and this is transportable too. So you can bring it to school, to college, to work, or whatever. So that is your lunch. Now let's move on to the next meal of your day. Man, this really is not going very well. The next meal of your day, which is going to be your dinner. But actually, before we do, Mama Murray is chilling out here. And Mum, I have a question for you. What are your thoughts of paying all that money for my education, the BSc, the Masters, and all of that jazz? And I've ended up just recording myself on the internet, cooking for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> She's not happy. <laughs> no, I think it, I got the wrong words. I, you someday you will come back to me and say, "Mom, I'm so happy that you made me do that because now I can do something else." Because I told you my story. It is handy to have those two sort of degrees, but realistically, will I ever use them? I, it's not. credibility. It's credibility. Who knows? You're Who only knows? twenty-six. <laughs> only. I did a degree. It's time to have children. And I couldn't have become a teacher <laughs> unless I'd done my degree, so... Fair enough. Which I never thought I'd do at 21. So who knows, it might be worthwhile. But anyway, Mom, hit the camera and cue the next meal. Okay, so the first ingredient you're gonna need is some fat-free cheese, and I already know someone out there is saying, God, it's not fat-free! I know, okay? It's low fat, but Ireland doesn't have fat-free cheese, so just use your imagination. And in the macros, we're assuming it's fat-free. Then you're gonna need some turkey breast mince, some sort of potato, so a white potato, or rooster potato, or even like a sweet potato would work. A packet of cauliflower florets, and finally some pesto, but make sure it's the reduced fat one. They don't have it here, but we do have some at home. Once again, fairly simple ingredients, but your boy has stepped it up a notch this time, and I'm gonna let. Mr. Wante Kid and the sexy B-roll come in because this one is a little bit more complex. So cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover in 3, 2, 1. I am back in action, Mr. Wante Kid, the guy who has slowly taken over this channel. <laughs> but yes, here we go. List of ingredients will be down below. As per usual, you are gonna coat your pro tea, that is potatoes in Irish, in your serving of pesto. Okay, put those in a nice little pan along with the cauliflower florets put the lid on top and they are going to crisp up nicely okay in the meantime you take your meat and you're gonna beat it <laughs> oh jesus okay yeah so you're gonna beat it down or just sort of spread it out and then you add in the cheese to that okay revolutionary if you haven't copped on already we we're making like a turkey sort of meat cheese loaf type thing but yes you put the cheese in that and then you put the other half of the meat on top and pretty much like enclose it okay add a bit of garlic salt or any herb and seasoning as you want okay i've sort of messed up but yeah, it's going okay now actually and then you put that underneath the grill or you can put it in the oven as well to cook up and look at it it comes out so so nicely okay beautiful then you're just gonna top that with the potatoes or top the potatoes with the thing and that is your potato patate protein meatloaf thing finish 
Goodbye. Oh my god, I butchered this one yet again. I don't think I'll ever do a proper one, but yes, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy. And there we go, family. The pesto, and the smell of the pesto brings me back to Italy. Fun fact, we used to have pesto patate, polipo e patate. That is like squid with like pesto potatoes. Good combo, okay? I know it sounds weird, but trust me, okay? So yes, that inspired this dish. And then you have like literally this like turkey burger cheesy meatloaf thing on top for the protein. So yes, this is gonna be your dinner, an absolute whopper of a meal. And in terms of macros, you're talking 63 carbs, 17 fat, and 93 grams of protein, okay? So 795 calories for this whole dish. You could add a whole bag of like mushrooms and green beans, but we're bulking here, so we're trying to keep volume a little bit lower than normal, but yes, that is your full-on dinner. And you're probably asking, Scott, are we eating again? Of course we are, okay? We are bulking and we need a macro capper of peace. So without further ado, let's wrap up today with the final meal. And you know what, actually, for a bit more value, I already know you're probably asking about supplements, okay? So the best supplement for bulking, I would say, has to be a creatine monohydrate. And you know what, I hope this works. <sighs> It happened again, guys. A whole, I, I don't need a whole box, guys, okay? I appreciate it, but seriously, I don't need it. Oh, oh my God, okay, please, take it handy. I do not deserve this, but anyway. Yes, this is the parcel we have of the day. How exciting is life? Actually, I take that back. Life is not exciting when you get all of this shit in the box, but yes, this is what we got. So we got one bag of steroids and two bags of steroids. And I hope you know I'm joking when I say steroids, but yes, creatine monohydrate is by far gonna be your ass bang for a buck in terms of muscle building, okay? No triple XL serious mass gainer. And it's super, super cheap. So there are two more supplements which can come super handy when bulking on a budget. And they're gonna be a caffeine powder for pre-workout. Again, none of these are essential. You can just have like coffee and a whey protein, which again, you don't need. You can just eat chicken breasts. But if you struggle to get your protein needs, it is super cheap and it's super handy. So those three, the creatine included, are your muscle building supplements. But now let's move on to your final meal, the macro capper. Of course we have to have it. So here we go, I hope this works. Whoa, God, 4.45, no, God, okay, Weetos, how much are they? Three, you know, perfect. Ah, oh, perfect, beautiful Weetos. That is gonna be your first ingredient. And then let's get the caffeine out the way, because the whey protein is gonna be your sa What, what's that? You can't afford whey protein? Or you're not allowed whey protein? No fair, Scott is here. <sighs> meeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch up. Yeah, and that's right, instead of whey protein, you can just have chocolate milk or any milk. Actually, chocolate milk in particular has been shown in the literature many times to be just as effective, if not more effective, than whey protein on recovery post-workout. So this, with your Weetos, is gonna be your macro capper, and that is the final meal of your day. And I hope it goes without saying that you do not put the milk in the cereal. If you put that in there, it's gonna go all soggy. You do not want that, you want full taste full texture, and yes, the full cereal experience. So that is a wrap. Oh my God, that was an absolute whopper. I'm beginning to shake. Oh my God, look at that guy, not good. Hoodie check, absolutely soaked as well. But yes, okay, so another tip while I'm here, is when it comes to bulking up as a college student, I would stick to like four or five days per week. You wanna sort of maximize the most you can get out of as little as possible, okay? And then you can use like five to six days per week as a way of overloading when you're more advanced. It also frees up more time for like socializing and doing your studies and all that type of stuff. So yeah, four to five days. Oh my God, guys. Like neat or cardio guys, you don't really have to do cardio. We did it today, obviously. But usually just walking around campus and being overall sort of active, socializing with your friends, you'll bang out the steps as well with ease, okay? So you don't really need to focus on those. So, there's a few tips for you now, let's wrap up the video. Mm, boom, so yes, let's wrap up this video. And before you come, Scott, you look exhausted. It's because I am, okay? Unfortunately, there is no team in Scott Murray Fitness. It's just me doing everything. I should probably start employing someone, but yeah, there's a lot of shit to do every single day and it takes its toll, so I am feeling it. But anyway, hopefully you liked the video. 
Again, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Now, in terms of the overall macros for the meal plan of this video, 238 grams of protein, 301 carb, 41 fat, coming in at 2,525 calories. So for most of you, that might be a mild surplus or maybe maintenance. You can make all kinds of lean gains as a student. So yeah, let me know if you like this style of video and if you want a student fat loss version because you already know that's probably gonna come anyway. But anyway, that is that. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Boop.